Banana is a major edible staple food consumed by most households in Africa. It serves as a source of income for over 20 million people in Africa who trade the food on major streets and markets. However, root worm and weevil affect 30% of Africa's banana, which weakens the roots in major plantations, forcing growers of the fruit to destroy large sections of their plantation. To mitigate the challenges of most farmers in the banana cultivation, scientists have developed an enzyme which stops the worm from digesting the protein from the root and introduce high-yielding disease and pest-resistant variety, which is genetically engineered. The genetically modified variety is also fortified with vitamin A to enhance the nutritional value of the fruit. Speaking to Vasa One News, the lead scientist on genetic modification of banana breeding at the National Agriculture Research Organization, Dr. Jeffrey Arinatrio, said Africa needs a model that can be Africanized in bridging the technological gap that exists in Africa. He noted that genetic engineering remains the safest approach that transfers genes without altering the taste of the banana. The famine, the micronutrient deficiencies in Africa, we need a model that can be Africanized. So genetic engineering remains the only tool, the only approach that transfers only one gene, only one trait of vitamin A content without changing the taste and the sweetness of the banana that we like in this country. These vegetative propagated crops that do not share genes with other plants, we need to engineer them, eat them, and have our children improve their health. He further noted that genetic engineering has a role to play in addressing the challenges of the society. But genetic engineering has a role to play. For example, we can engineer microbes that will break down the oil waste and we clean the environment. It's an approach many people are not looking at. We can make stress-resistant grass that is covering all these naked surfaces or empty surfaces on the planet. We control soil facility with that. Genetic engineering has many approaches. We can even make fibers. We can improve fibers that, that are not for food, not even, we, we can have fibers that we can use in, in car manufacture, for example. The director of the Agriculture Biotech Center at the National Agriculture Research Laboratory in Uganda, Dr. Andrew Kukundu, noted that his outfit will soon be collaborating with the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission to develop adoptable mode of controlling aflatoxin in vegetable crops, which is under research in Ghana and Uganda. From Uganda, Nuanash for Vasa One News.